What we're doing when, when, it, when, we, when we celebrate or when we uh, do the sacrament of baptism, we're, we're accomplishing a few things. The first is that we are celebrating what Jesus has done. We take people under the water and we raise them back up. We're symbolizing they've let go of who they were and that they're rising to a new life. Romans chapter 6, uh, verse 3. It says, do you know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. The second thing we're doing is we're declaring publicly. We're saying to this community, to our friends, to our family, that we are going to live lives sold out for Jesus. And thirdly, it's a commitment that no matter what comes, we will follow Jesus in this new life for the rest of our lives. So what we're going to do is, each, uh, as each person gets baptized, they will tell their story. So they're just going to explain like why they want to be baptized and how they've come to this place. And then I'm going to ask them a series of questions. The first one is, do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? The second question is, do you accept Jesus as your Savior? And the third is, do you commit to following Jesus for the rest of your life? And if uh, the individual says yes, then we proceed to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as Jesus uh, instructed us to. Now to live the life.